I would like uh, to greet uh, this audience, very, very big audience, to thank also the organizer for having invited me to deliver this keynote address. And uh, I must say that for me, who left uh, India uh, seven years ago, uh, it is uh, a great pleasure, but also an honor to be back uh, and uh, to be in Bangalore, which is uh, an extremely important uh, uh, city, uh, which is very much also in the radar screen of uh, many uh, company, government uh, around the world. And it is an honor for me to open this analytics in action conference. And uh, in today's world, uh, a world which run at a great speed, at an impressive speed, uh, with innovation and renovation uh, being a key success factor, uh, there is a, a close link with Bangalore, which I think, uh, in a sense, is the center of innovation and renovation in India. Technology, quality, speed make uh, big data and analytics uh, uh, are a very big priority in today's world. If uh, big data and uh, analytics are important, it is uh, even more important to have quality in them. It boils down to have intelligent data, intelligent uh, people to leverage uh, the value of them, to take intelligent decision and finally to deliver an intelligent profit and loss account. But let's go back a little bit in history. If we look at uh, the Egyptian about 5,000 years ago, by using uh, data and making proper analysis of them, they managed uh, to build impressive monuments like the pyramids. And uh, if we look back in history and you look at wars, who did uh, succeed in war? I think a battle is uh, uh, a field where you win if you have quality data. In any discovery, be it uh, technological or be it uh, geographical, again you need quality data. So nothing really new on the horizon, just a question of waking up on the importance of data and their role in effective management. Accepting the importance of data leads to transparency and by definition to success. See successful government, successful company, and also successful sportsmen or women. But if you do not accept uh, uh, the importance of data, this leads uh, to confusion. And uh, confusion is equal to failure. If we look, for instance, at politicians, I take uh, Portugal, uh, they had a dictator who really didn't understand the value of data and uh, kept uh, its population into ignorance, and this led to his failure. Back to a very sad period of this country, uh, during emergency, Indira Gandhi refused to look at data, and uh, she didn't realize what was boiling down in, uh, in the country, and uh, with absence of good data, she finally had to step down. All this seems obvious, but people and corporate and government too need to adjust and train for this new reality of the quality of data. As said, uh, speed forces uh, people to adjust. And uh, let me give you some example in the corporate world where I lived for many years. Nestle back in the uh, 90s uh, realized the importance of uh, big data and uh, analytics and took a decision uh, where uh, 
by early 2000, they had a team of 2,000 people uh, and spent $6 billion to create uh, quality uh, data through analytics. The observation made by Nestle on the quality of the data they had at uh, their disposal in a company with uh, 250,000 employees operating in 140 countries with uh, about 500 uh, factories and organized in a decentralized way made them realize that it was extremely difficult because of the quality of the data to correlate uh, activities in the various countries. And in order to improve uh, the quality of the available data, they created uh, this project with this huge team to define best practices uh, with this new data and improve opera operational efficiency and allow to improve speed to market. So that gave better performance uh, better uh, target uh, setting and better control on the operation. Back in uh, the 60s, another company, Benetton, when they started, again, they went through a very critical uh, process of uh, uh, analysis of their data and uh, created a business model which uh, delivered their success. In order uh, to improve uh, speed to market, uh, they had their production of uh, clothes, everything in white. All their uh, outlets were linked and they were sending back data on a daily basis in order to define uh, consumer trends, which color they were uh, more popular and they in such a way uh, reduce their working capital and their efficiencies. If I take another example, uh, uh, in Nestle, which I know best, I was running uh, the water operation uh, uh, globally, and in the United States we had uh, a huge operation which uh, uh, was uh, delivering about $4 billion turnover, but uh, with a, a big seasonality factor. And it was extremely important to analyze uh, uh, data, to have uh, good quality data in order to program and plan uh, production to respond to the peak season of summer. And this, again, is, uh, it seems obvious, but uh, it gives a lot of... Uh, uh, effort in uh, managing uh, data. Also, uh, in such a big operation, we were running uh, thousands of trucks uh, driving about 44 bill million uh, miles a year, and this was uh, uh, efficiently uh, run with a good uh, uh, analysis of big data. From this example, we can conclude that uh, for effective and efficient uh, management, it is of paramount importance to pay more and more attention to big data and analytics. But uh, as a conclusion, I would say that uh, we have to professionalize uh, management of data, uh, draw attention of general management on the importance of big data and analytics, very often not clearly uh, recognized, as said earlier. But I think you have to avoid uh, that data kills you and that data manages you. It is uh, quite the contrary. You have to manage data.